Well, hello there. New line design here with a quick lighting setup tutorial. What we have here is a, a night scene for uh, this Scandinavian uh, country house. And we'll start by uh, turning uh, the emissiveness on this uh, material in uh, spotlights. So it looks uh, like a light source. So I'm going to turn on emissiveness somewhere around here. And when we go back to uh, our preview mode, we can see straight away uh, the material emitting uh, light from those uh, spotlights. So let's go ahead and uh, start applying some uh, lights to our scene. Here is our first uh, set of lights. These are uh, spotlights. When I select them, you can see the shape. It's a very a narrow angle uh, spotlight. I want all uh, the, the lights outside to be warm. So the color uh, temperature will be somewhere around here. Warm lights, as you can see. Here is the uh, amount or the value of brightness. And I uh, narrowed the cone angle even further uh, down. So it just produces a very uh, narrow uh, and a straight beam up here in those um, in these openings. So when I go back to uh, photo mode and press F8 uh, key on my keyboard, you can uh, see uh, slightly the preview of, of the lights as you can see in here when it casts the shadows so it doesn't uh, uh, go uh, through the material. So let's go ahead and bring another a layer of a lights into our scene. Here we have, once again, when I select one of these lights, these are uh, spotlights, uh, pretty much the same uh, shape, uh, angle, and the value or uh, the color temperature is the same. The value is a little uh, lower, as you can see in here, because it's going to be bouncing from, uh, from the wood in here, from the floor and the stone. So we'll have a little bit uh, more reflections. So that's why the value is lower. Uh, cone angle is pretty much the same, very uh, narrow uh, beam of light. So let's go ahead into our photo mode once again. And by pressing F8 on our keyboard, we can preview uh, these lights as they will be or appear in our render. As you can see in here, here is uh, the shadow from this ledge, from the stone and also in here uh, the light is uh, coming through those uh, openings in this parking uh, parking lot. So let's uh, open up another layer of uh, lights. Here we have uh, once again these are spotlights, but they are a little different uh, shape. As you can see, a very wide angle a spotlight. The color temperature once again it's warm. The brightness value I already test rendered uh, on this value and the cone angle is quite uh, quite wide. These lights are in here to mimic the light coming from uh, from inside these uh, rooms that we have in here. So when we go back to uh, our photo mode and I press uh, F8 once again, you can preview these lights now you can see the the angle of, uh, of the light coming in here and the shadows that are being cast by those, uh, by those uh, window frames. Next up, our next uh, layer of uh, lights, what we have here, and this is the last uh, layer of uh, lights. These are different type of lights, as you can see we have one in here. This is called a line light in uh, Lumion. Here is, the, here is the shape, the value of brightness and the width and length you can adjust. Uh, this is to mimic the, uh, the ghost light coming from under the ledge of, uh, of this walkway or porch. Uh, now this uh, light I want to be uh, white. So here is the value, it's a bright uh, or a daylight color and the brightness value along with the fall off so it doesn't go through the material too much. When we go uh, uh, to another light we have uh, one in here and this is an area light very similar to a line light it's just a different shape it's a square shape or in this case rectangular you can adjust the, the width and length now uh, 
here we have the brightness value is very low when I press a shift key on my keyboard you can see the value it's almost uh, close to one and the fall off uh, also uh, not too high very very small fall off in here uh, the reason for this light is so I get some uh, bounce uh, from the spotlights which is not enough from the floor so I get a little um, uh, fill in light from uh, from this uh, area light on this wall and also on the roof in here or the ceiling in here. A uh, very similar function for this area light. As you can see, it is uh, the same, uh, same shape or similar shape. It's a rectangular shape. And I'm uh, casting a light, more light uh, on this wall because I do not get enough from these uh, spotlights. So it looks a little more realistic and we have uh, a light or even light in this uh, garage or entry uh, area. So when we go to uh, photo mode, to preview our lights, as you can see, it is nice and bright. Because without, without these lights, as you can uh, see when I go back to, uh, to the object mode and, and I preview it without, Straight away you can see this is very dark and it does not look realistic. So I'm going to switch the line lights or area lights once again, turn them on, back to photo mode and you can see the difference straight away. Now when I press F8 uh, there is no difference in here, there is uh, no shadows because these, uh, these type of lights, the area lights and the line lights, they do not cast shadows. So we are getting only the shadows from these uh, spotlights that we have around here. So uh, that is the light setup. I'm going to uh, take you uh, through the, the effects real quick for this particular scene. scene. So um, we'll start with the lens flare. Uh, obviously we're using lens flare uh, for these uh, spotlights. So they get a, a little bit of a halo uh, around the source. Here is the, the master brightness and uh, isolating the bright pixels. So uh, we get the nice, uh, nice halo effect around these lights and the master brightness somewhere around here. So that's the lens flare, uh, sky and clouds. Obviously I'm using a night sky in here as you can see from the preset from uh, Lumion. Uh, precipitation that is there for the snow effect as you can see in here it is all the way uh, in the right we get the snow and I remove it you can see the difference and I removed all the uh, particles uh, size and quantity because I just want uh, clear skies only with some uh, snow covering next up we have uh, Sun actually in this case uh, we don't, uh, we don't need it because we have a night sky sharpening. We can uh, sharpen up the image just a little bit. The in intensity, exposure, uh, here we have uh, high exposure. So we get uh, a little bit of um, reflection from, uh, from the snow on uh, to our, our model. So we need to balance uh, the light a little bit. Color correction, now the temperature is somewhere around here which creates the, the bluish uh, tint into our scene and the brightness and the contrast is uh, high as well. Saturation can go down just a little bit because it is a night scene so basically the colors are not uh, very very bright. Now moving on to reflections actually in this case we do not have any reflective surfaces in here so we do not have to uh, use that it will save uh, or speed up the render. Hyperlight, uh, that is mostly for the interior, so uh, this is the preset from, uh, from the Lumion. I uh, increased it just a little bit. And Skylight, that one is quite important. As you can see, I brought the brightness up almost all the way. So I get the bounce from the snow onto, the, onto our model, which is, uh, which is very dark. So we need to uh, use a lot of brightness, a lot of bounce from the environment around it. Saturation can stay uh, where it is. Uh, next up is the uh, shadows. Once again, coloring uh, will be in the blue spectrum, 
as we have snow and night scene so it's going to be very cold the brightness is very very low and the omni shadow value is a little higher so we get a little detail in those uh, corners and obviously once again it's interior exterior slider almost all the way to the exterior so we get nice uh, uh, shadows uh, kind of uh, in a bluish uh, spectrum <coughs> Next up, chromatic aberration. This is set up from, uh, from the preset. Just lower the dispersion a little bit and the depth of field, our last effect. Uh, a large amount of blur, as you can see uh, in here. So I get the background and slightly the foreground out of focus. And the house uh, is nice and sharp in focus. Uh, I selected the, uh, the distance somewhere around here in the middle of, uh, of the house on that corner. Turn on the uh, autofocus function, so it just uh, measures the distance. And uh, I move the foreground background slider towards the background, so the background is more blurred or more out of focus than the foreground is. And that is all uh, our effects. The lights are all set, so let's go ahead with our final uh, render. Landscape a lighting setup video is on SRP landscape design channel and as for the interior that one you will find on the Red House interior design channel. Both of the links uh, to those videos are in the description. But for now, thanks for watching, stay well and stay creative.